Welcome to the Medsies, where education meets excellence. So today we are going to talk about atelectasis. So going ahead, let me tell you what atelectasis is. So atelectasis literally means collapse. So as you can see on the board, I have written collapse. So what sort of collapse it is? It is a collapse in which the lungs are unable to expand. Okay. And their inability leads to loss of lung volume. So this is atelectasis. Now to explain it further, I'm going to classify atelectasis into three types, which are also written in Medium Robbins, which is the main textbook. So the first one is resorption atelectasis. The second one is compression atelectasis. And the third one is contraction atelectasis. So first I'm going to discuss resorption atelectasis. So what happens in resorption atelectasis? Okay, there is an obstruction, which I'm going to write as obst obstruction in the airway. Okay, so consider that this is an airway and here there is an obstruction. So from this obstruction, air cannot go in as much, but a little bit of air can actually. So this air is not sufficient enough to oxygenate the blood so there is hypoxia and this air is not sufficient enough to inflate the alveoli. So gradually, not immediately, the alveoli collapse. So this is resorption atelectasis. Its mechanism, I told you, the causes for the resorption atelectasis are a lot. So there is post-operative resorption atelectasis. It happens because of the mucus plugs which form in the respiratory tract all the way, all the time. But as the patient is under anesthesia, the movement of the airway is not that much. Okay. So the mucus gets stuck inside the respiratory tract. And as the patient is also under atropine, which is a drug given to patients to control their secretions and keep the respiratory tract relaxed, the mucus plugs are stuck in there and cause atelectasis, post-op atelectasis. Also, there is asthma in which the obstruction is due to narrowing. There is bronchitis, the inflammation of the bronchioles, which bronchioles and bronchi, which causes accumulation of the inflammatory exudate and also a lot of mucus. Also, there is bronchiectasis, which happens due to permanent enlargement of the tract but this enlargement also comes with a lot of mucus and a lot of cough so this is resorption atelectasis but the good news is okay, this atelectasis is quite reversible and it's treatable the second type is compression atelectasis so consider that these are your lungs and there is something right here around the lungs, which is not allowing them to expand. This can be air, this can be blood, and this can be fluid. So if it's blood, it is due to trauma majorly. And if it's air, it is also due to trauma and we call it pleural effusion. If it's fluid, it can be due to one major reason in which the blood doesn't get out of the lungs and that is congestive cardiac failure which I wrote as CCF. There is another cause in which the lungs, the patient has compression atelectasis but it's of a different sort. He cannot deeply breathe. And these patients are actually bedridden patients. These patients are the patients which are going through a surgery and immediately after a surgery. And this happens uh, due to compression atelectasis, which is a different kind, and it's called basal atelectasis, which is written in Video Robbins as basal atelectasis. And the last one is the most notorious one. But let me tell you one thing about compression it's also reversible. But the last one, the contraction atelectasis, the most important thing is it's not reversible. And also, 
if here are a lot of your alveoli which I drew a lot of alveoli are there okay so in contraction atelectasis the alveoli are fibrosed there is scar tissue formation there is fibrosis and because of this fibrosis there is inability of the lungs to expand and this scarring okay so this scarring is either local or diffuse if it's local the patient can actually breathe but in diffuse the patient cannot breathe at all and it happens in a lot of diseases like TB and things like that so here we go with atelectasis I hope you understand everything about atelectasis now and if you like this video give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel share this video with your friends and goodbye from the Medsies